You've got a lot of nerve showing up here, after the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, oh, I've got a lot of nerve. Everything that happened is because of you. This is all your fault. I told you, I wanted you out of my life after what you did to Conrad. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is dead. And before you guys fucked it up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she... well, fucked us over. But she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. That's worth forgiving, right? She's trying. That counts. She's doing a good thing now. But she's got a long way to go before I forgive her. <laughs> You're one to talk. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. Fern. Is that you, darling? I'm here, handsome. Vernon and Rufus. What's wrong with him? Bitten. He's slipping in and out of delirium. We have to find Ida. We have to find our daughter. I know that guy. We had a situation. He's lucky I didn't shoot him. Looks like his luck just ran out. Let them have a minute. It's the least we can do. Y'all get over here. You gotta cut his arm off. It's too far along. I'm sorry. Bullshit. It can work. I've seen it. Do you want his last moments alive to be more painful than they need to be? I just want to try. I can't lose everyone. Please. I'm begging you. Please. No way. I'm not a doctor. They're the only ones who should do that. I already said no. He's gonna fucking die! Fern. You need to put him down when he turns. That's an order. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the- We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey, easy. We're- You blew a hole in our wall! Got my little girl killed! Got my whole fucking family killed! Richmond was fine until your stupid easy ass for... showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up! Put it down. You don't want to hurt anyone. Just like you put it down for Joan. Stand down. That's an order. Kate, no! Fern, this is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Please, from a mother to a mother. God! David! Oh my God! Dad! You're welcome, Javi. That dead guy! You... David! What are you doing? This isn't right! David! Oh my God! Did you really need to break her arm? That wasn't necessary! Okay? Don't thank me. No! David! Dave! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her. She was going for her gun. Look at her. <laughs> Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... 
They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them! Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Fine then. You people are on your own. Such an asshole. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. David? What are you doing? Come on. Just take a step back. You wouldn't want to, you know, slip or something. Come over here. Or are you afraid of me too? I know the rest of them are. Right? Even if they are, I'm not. I've dealt with scarier than you, brother. There's no if, Javi. They are. My wife, Javi. My son. They look at me differently. Maybe you're seeing them differently. I want to show you something. Stand with me. Why the hell are you smiling? See that sewer line over there? Perfect placement for a trench. That hill about a hundred paces west of it. Sniper's wildest dream come true. I'm a soldier, Javi. I see this landscape like a painter sees a blank canvas. Like how you used to see a baseball diamond. I'm a soldier. This makes sense to me. I was made for this. I thrive in this. Maybe it's crazy. But sometimes crazy things make sense. If only a little. I'm surprised you understand. A soldier isn't a husband. Or a father. A soldier is a soldier. Nothing else. Nothing. Nothing at all. Call yourself whatever you want. I still see you as my brother. That is kind of you to say, Javi. I wish... I wish I had your heart sometimes. I want to change, Javi. I always have. Really? All you ever tried to do was get me to change. <sighs> Only because I couldn't bring myself to do it first. It's the one war I could never win. And I'm wondering why. Is it because I don't know how? Or because it's impossible to change who you really are? There's a way. There always is. No matter how lost you are. You just have to keep looking until you find it. Looks pretty messy. For now. Maybe you're right. Maybe. Just gotta live long enough to find out. Just like with anything else. I did what you asked. You did. Thanks for that. So now, will you step back? <laughs> sure. I found them! They're up here! Be careful, Javi. I ran into... He was still outside when we checked on the entrances. The muertos were everywhere. We got him inside just in time. So we let him in. There were so many muertos out there. Thank God you're okay, man. I, I was worried. Uh, trip. About earlier. Yeah, about that. I ain't gonna punch you in the teeth. Though, I got every right. Really? 
Figured you'd put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, I'd love nothing more, but... I just... can't shake this slippery feeling I got. Like I'm... standing in shoes that don't quite fit. You picked me to die, and... someone else did instead. Ain't sitting right. Not one bit. I don't know what to tell you, man. It was... fucked up. No doubt. Top to bottom. I keep putting myself in your position. About Conrad, about all of this. Asking myself over and over again whether I'd do the same. I'd love to tell you I wouldn't. I really would. But I can't. If someone threatened my family, I'd shoot him in a heartbeat. Hell, I'd shoot him twice to make sure the lesson stuck. It's a complicated world. But at least there's people to share it with. Bygones? How about it? I'm in if you are. I'm lucky to know you, Trip. You're a good man. Try not to piss me off again, please. There's so many. They're pouring in. It's even worse than you think. The streets are overrun. Nowhere to go except inside the buildings, and those smelly fuckers are beating down every door. We're sitting goddamn ducks here. Everyone in town is... Oh, Jesus Christ. What the fuck have we done? So what do we do? I don't want to die up here. None of us do, Gabe. Stabilize the city. Figure out how to make it safer for everyone. I saw construction vehicles when we got the armored truck. We can use those to stop the Muertos, seal the breach, and save Richmond. That's over by the motor pool at the water tower. We could use the highway overpass to get to the water tower. Come on. Let's jump. <sighs> Come on. It's an easy jump. Keep your eyes open, stay aware of your surroundings, all of you. Let's move out. When we found Kate earlier, she walked right past me, like she didn't even know who I was. Right past me, and right towards you. Why was that? Just wondering. You really want to know? Then ask her. She won't even make eye contact with me. up here or else the exact same thing will happen to us. Stay sharp and do not fire your guns. We're gonna be fine. That guy was all alone. We're not. Everyone hold back. Let Hobby and I clear out these walkers. Move. You okay, bud? When I was little, Dad used to ask me what I wanted to be when I was a man. And I pointed him. He always liked that. I thought he was such a great guy would always make him smile, every time. If he asked you again right now, would you say the same? He hasn't asked me yet. Never be like your uncle. He 
tell me that all the time. Don't be a man who relies on other people to solve your problems. Because then you're not a man at all. I used to think he was right. Not anymore, though, Javi. I can only hope I grow up to be like you. So, here's hoping. Oh, thanks, buddy. That means a lot. I'm sorry I never really said it before. I should have. Really, thanks a million. You're welcome, a million. You took such good care of me. Now we need to take care of Dad. He's the one that needs our help. We're gonna have to go around the side. There's barely any room. Well, no time to waste. Come on. You know, I didn't think there was much that could scare me anymore. And yet, here we are. Just goes to show you. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Life is full of surprises. This isn't that bad. I believe in you guys. You can do this. That was... Shit my nuts! Ah, fuck you, fuckstick! Son of a goddamn! This ain't nothing. Once we're back on the ground, that's when this shit's really gonna get scary. Got a bad feeling. Oh, good lord. It's nasty down there. Can't even describe it. You just saved my life. I mean, thanks, Trip. I'm glad you have my back. Lucky catch. That's all. We have to get across. I know Gabe doesn't see it, but David really is trying to look out for him. He's not doing the best job, but no one gives you a rule book to raise a kid. And they sure as shit don't. There's just one thing I don't get, though. Did David really think he was helping AJ by letting him go? Why did he stop guarding him? Maybe you should ask him that. It might be that he just didn't care. Not everyone's like you, Clem. Not everyone wants to take care of a baby. I guess not, but after you put in all that work, so much of your heart... AJ was a brat. He lived with me after we kicked you out, Clem. I'd already raised two kids. Thought it'd be a piece of cake. <laughs> not with that tyrant. Is that why you gave him away? We had a bad winter. Destroyed every crop we had. I couldn't leave Richmond. And AJ couldn't stay in Richmond. I gave AJ to Lingard and told him to do whatever he had to to save his life. I miss that, Brett. Never asked Lingard about it again. Though I've wanted to. Well, sounds like it was your only option. You did the right thing. I hope so. I think about it, every day. It wasn't easy, Clem. Remember, far as I knew, I'd already lost two children. It wasn't any easier with number three. It's never easy. I'm gonna keep you alive. Keep all of us alive. And hope that that's enough. Enough for atonement. Huh. He was a brat, huh? A goofy little brat. You were trying to take care of him. Sometimes that's not so easy. Reminds me of someone who did the same thing for me. You did the right thing. Oh, 
Holy shit. Chopped right in half. What the hell happened here? You're not thinking. It's that or go back. We should go lightest to heaviest. That way it won't break on the first swing. I'll go first, Clem. Get a long run up, but not too long. If you take too many quick steps, you'll propel yourself upward instead of out. David. He's got this. She's right. I do. <sighs> Come on, Clem. Your turn. It's one thing for the kids to swing across, but us? You've got this. I've seen you do things that are way scarier. Okay. I can do it. <sighs> All right, David. You're up. You're the little brother. You should go first. You're definitely lighter. After you. Show me how it's done. Okay. Pay attention. Last, brother. Trip, you don't have Just to. Just go before I throw you across. Try. We can't just leave him. Y'all head out now. I don't want you seeing no, this. Trip, no. None. Motherfucker. Trip. No. Ah! He went out fighting. I hope I do too. I'm sorry about your friend, Javi. He seemed like a good guy. The kind of guy you want on your side in a fight. 
It's priceless. Come on. We're almost there. <laughs> 